Hi, my name is Lauren from JFrog, and today we will be diagnosing and how to fix a 403 error from RabbitMQ reported by Xtray. Here's an example of what it would look like. In the Xtray server log, it says, error connecting to RabbitMQ message queue, check MQ settings. Exception 403, reason user or password not allowed. This error is a bit misleading. It generally means that the password is actually incorrect or not provided rather than not allowed. So let's take a look at a live demo. So we can see here that Xray has attempted to retry this quite a few times, over 100 times. You can see it's continuing to do so. So let's stop Xray. Okay, and so the first thing we want to do is to find out if the password has been set for RabbitMQ. So the easiest way to do this is to find the RabbitMQ comp. So we can locate it via this command. There it is. You see here that it has been set this parameter, default underscore pass, and the password has been set to password. So next, let's verify that this password is actually correct. So we can do this by using the RabbitMQ CLI. This will be located here in the op folder. First, you want to run a status command. Make sure that our queue is running. If the status returns that it's unavailable or not available, um, you want to try using the extra user by running su xray first. This is the extra Linux user, and sometimes the permissions are owned by this guy in this user. Next, let's verify that the user is user password combination is correct. So in this case, the default user is going to be guest. Um, Okay, you can see success. This means that the password is good. Um, generally, the default password will be guest password, or in our case, it's bulleted it to jfxr underscore rabbitmq. Now that we know that rabbitmq has accepted it, let's go verify that the system YAML of x ray actually has that set. So we can see here that there isn't a password field at all. Now let's start up X-Ray. Check the service log. And we can see here, all services is actually started. Okay, just to verify, let's run a quick curl. You can run netstat to see what the port the router is on. So we have a customized port here. And there we go. Everything is up and running. Thank you for listening. This has been Lauren from Jeffrock Support.